What's happening, Pokey fam? No, every video isn't gonna start with me in the car, but if you've seen my last couple videos, you know my town is completely out of cards. I've been to so many stores and they're all empty. So today I decided to get up early, drive a couple hours north to some towns where there's not as many people. So maybe they got some more stuff left up there. Whatever they got, we're gonna buy it, bring it back here and open it up. So let's go see what they got. Alright, PokeFam, first store, right Aid. Let's go. Alright, here's the toy aisle. Let's see. Cards, cards. Oh, we got some. We've got a Sableye and the little Piplup Lego ball. No cards, no cards. What else? What else? Let's keep looking in the store. They're probably on one of the little side aisles. Alright, so we found them at Rite Aid. It looks like they're on these side aisles here. We got some Darmanitan. Bean decks, we got some baseball cards, some magic, some old Yu-Gi-Oh maybe, no Pokemon cards, let's go to another store. Alright PokeFam, our next store is Best Buy, let's go inside and see what they got, come on. Alright, I found the cards. Alright, what have we got, some Guardians Rising. We got some Rebel Clash. We've got some XY Breakpoint. Okay, now, I know it's just Breakpoint, but the Shining Gyarados is in this set, so we're gonna definitely get all three of those. Looks like we've got the Pikachu Bluetooth headphones. Those are kind of awesome. We've got a Charizard Reshiram Battle League deck. Now, I actually have one of these already, but one thing that I always check PokeFam is the centering on a promo. So on this one, it looks like it's just a little bit off. So we're gonna leave this one for somebody else. We're gonna grab these and what else do we got to here? We've got the plushes. Yeah, we've got all three starter plushes. Now, I have the Bulbasaur at home already, so I'm pretty sure this is happening right now. Let's get this stuff and go check out another store. All right, PokeFam, we're at CVS. Let's see if they got any of those Dragonite or Salamence tins. Those are pretty fun to open up. All right, so let's see. On the toy aisle, it looks like lots of random stuff. Lots of board games. This is where cards would be if they had them. Again, we'd be looking for those tins. But I am not seeing anything Pokefam. I think we gotta go, oh wait. What do we got here? We've got a little Glaceon and the Dene XY. This is, okay, so this is actually from 2015, right? Cause it's got XY on it. This is kind of like, an old toy, kind of a rare find. We're actually gonna grab this today, even though it's not cards. Anything vintage that I see, like not, you know, vintage, but X, Y era, I'm gonna grab that. Let's go. Target, are they gonna have hidden fate stamps? Let's see. Empty shelves again. This is madness. All that is left are two Zygarde theme decks. Let's check the back of the store. All gone. They got a lot of the battle figures. They got Charmeleon and Bulbasaur and Larvitar in one. That's actually pretty sick. You guys are probably gonna be mad at me for not buying that one. Same with that one too. And Mimikyu. All right, let's keep looking. There's gotta be at least one pack of cards in this store that we can buy. All right, PokeFam, so I hear there's a comic book shop around the corner that I've never been to. Let's go over there and check it out and see what they got. All right, PokeFam, so we found a comic shop and we've actually got some packs. They've got Unified Minds and they've got Vivid Voltage. 
and there's only three packs left from this booster box. So we're gonna get all three of these, and then we're gonna get the last pack on both sides of the Unified Minds. Test a little theory out here. Let's go. All right, we're here at Walgreens. Hopefully they got some of those lightning TCG packs for some of those crazy mystery boxes, but they've been really hard to find. So let's cross our fingers, Pokefam. Let's go see what they got. All right, here we go. So, looks like we got Rebel Clash. Looks like we got more Breakpoint in this. Maybe Kangaskhan pin is kind of cool. But for $11, I don't know. I think I'm gonna pass on this guy. We also have the Blissey tin here. So inside of here is Green Shadows, Sun and Moon Base, and Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. Not the, the worst pack selection, but also for 14 bucks, not, not the greatest deal. It looks like we also got another breakpoint pack here, but same thing. If it was two breakpoints, maybe. But we're gonna pass on this stuff. We're gonna check out another store. Let's go. All right, we're at GameStop, and it looks like all they really got are these Lord Beetle boxes and some Sword and Shield base, you know. I've said in a few videos that I've wanted to get one of these for my someone. Here it is, a pack selection, looks like Darkness Ablaze, Two Vivid Voltage, and I thought it was supposed to have Burning Shadows, but that looks like Sun and Moon base. So, not the greatest for the price, but we're still going to get it today. Let's go to one more store. All right, Pokefam, we're at the last store. We found some really awesome stuff today. Let's try for a little bit more luck at the CVS, and then after that, we'll go home and open up everything. Let's go. All right, Pokefam, this is the toy aisle at CVS. It looks completely destroyed. There's no cards inside, no figures or anything. So I'm gonna drive a couple hours home, and we're gonna open all of this stuff. It's gonna be a long drive for me in just a second for you guys. Let's go. All right, it looks like going out of town did the trick. Now the shelves weren't as stocked as I wanted them to be, but we still found some fun stuff to open. But real quick, before we do this, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to everyone who supported the show so far. If you've subscribed, if you've liked a video, if you've shared a video with a friend, or even if it's your first time watching right now, I can't tell you how much it means to me that you would take a shot and watch one of my videos. I'm so excited for what 2021 has coming. But let's rip into what we found today. First off, real quick, we had to get these awesome Charmander and Squirtle plush from Best Buy. I mean, look at this. Look at the stitch work on this. This is quality. And they had Bulbasaur, but I already had Bulbasaur. And now I got all three, so that's pretty cool. And let's see. We were also at Best Buy able to find these XY breakpoint blisters. Now, personally, like it's kind of, this is kind of like a cool little sealed item because this is almost a five-year-old set, but we open packs on this show. So we're going to rip all of these today. And we were able to get from this awesome comic shop that I'm really surprised I've never been to before. Three packs of uh, Vivid Voltage here. The last three packs that they had in that booster box. So. Maybe somebody left the, the Rainbow Pika in there. I don't know. We're going to find out. I also grabbed the last pack on either side of the booster box of this Unified Minds that they had. And the price for these packs was like a dollar or so more than other places. But I have no problem at all supporting comic shops over the giant box stores. If it was up to me, I would buy everything from there, but it's really hard for them to keep a lot of stuff in stock. Then we picked up this Orbital V box from GameStop and the pack selection has been kind of changing. I think there's like two variants of this box. I could be wrong, but I know I've seen some with two Darkness Ablaze. This is Voltage, Voltage, Darkness Ablaze, and this looks like Sun and Moon Base. Uh, I know I've seen some, I think even with Burning Shadows, and then just for good measure, we had to take the display box from them because that always looks good on a shelf. So what do we want to open first? Let's save these breakpoints for last, and let's get into the Vivid Voltage from the booster box. So if you've been watching the show, I'll link you right now. We pulled the Japanese VMAX Pikachu and a bunch of other like really awesome cards from the Japanese Vivid Voltage set, Astonishing Volt Tackle and Legendary Heartbeat a little bit ago, but I still need that Rainbow Pika. There's still some amazing rares 
set I need. Um, I don't have, I think I only have Rayquaza. I actually need, yeah, almost all of them. Let's see. How crazy would it be if, uh, if somebody left, if these were actually the last, uh, last three packs in the box, I can't tell you how many times I've seen the last pack in a booster box be the one secret rare. C dot, Mulbray, Joltik, reverses a Panfi, and oh, Hollow Zekrom. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Let's see. That would definitely, Rainbow Pika would definitely be a card that I would grade also. Oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Did I ruin it? I don't think so, let's go. One, two, three, four from the back. And if this is your first time watching a card opening video, that right there was the card trick. Do that so the rare card is the last one that we pull. Cottony. Arakuda and we got Pathik, Riolu, and oh, Hallelujah. Okay, cool, cool. I'll take a Lugia. I'll take a Hallelujah any day. Last pack. Let me get these out of the way real quick. These cards are taking over. Last pack, Celebi. Potentially the last pack out of this booster box that they had there. What have you got for us? Was the secret rare already taken out of this box? Let's find out. And what kind of luck have you guys been having? I know shelves have got to be empty everywhere. Let me know in the comments. What's like the furthest you've drove for cards? I went about like two, two and a half hours today to like town I've been to before, but never for cards. And surprisingly, they were just as cleared out. And like the staff at stores, Alistair and oh, non hollow non hollow for our rare. The staff at all the stores were telling me, hey, you're like the 10th the person today who's asked about cards. You know, it's it looks like it's just the same everywhere that everyone is out. Hopefully this does not continue. Oh, into 20. 21. We got a white code. We got a white code in this Unified Minds. Two packs from either side of the back of the booster box. I just watched my buddy pull a secret rare out of the last pack on the right of his Darkness Ablaze booster box. And I know it's all shuffled. Every box is different. Don't base any of that of what I'm saying off of, you know, how you would go through a box. But Let's see, Saladent is our reverse, and ah, uh, Hollow, Terracorn, Terracion, Terracion, cool, okay. Unified Minds, second pack, from the back of their booster box, and how, oh, okay, well, white code card again, boom, maybe there's a, uh, Two, three, four. Maybe there's something to it, to that last pack on either side. Maybe it's just hollows. Apu. Normalium. We've got Cottony. Magmar. Can't go wrong with a Magmar. Cosmog. Bidoof. Pikachu. I'm starting to open a lot of Unified Minds. All right. And we'll, oh, it's hey, Jiraji GX from the last pack. On a, I don't know if it was the left or the right at this point of the booster box for Unified Minds. Look at this little guy. There's some awesome detail in this card too. Really cool. All right, we're gonna sleeve him up. Got my trusty sleeves right here, and bam. Let's see. Do I have a little card stand? Can you see him if I put him right here, Pokey Fam? Bam. How about that? Right on. All right. So yeah, let's do. Let's do breakpoint last. Let's get into this Ore Beetle box. And because there's one Darkness of Blaze pack in there, we got one chance at a Charizard. So I got my Charizard sleeve here. When is it gonna happen? I wanna hear your bets or guesses in the comments. When am I gonna finally get to use one of these Charizard sleeves in an opening? All right, Ore Beetle. Whoop. All right, get this 
box out of the way. And... Oh, here we go. Let's see. Rip this promo card out gently. Gently. Or Beetle V promo. Very cool. We'll give him a sleeve. We'll sleeve him up. Bam. It's going to go over here. We got our Jumbo or Beetle V card. Still trying to figure out what to do with all my Jumbo cards. And what do we got? So, Vivid Voltage. Vivid Voltage. Grim Snarl Darn is ablaze. And I was right. Sun and Moon Base. All right. Decidui on the front. And a code for the Orbital V box. You pulled anything cool yet from these code cards, Pokey fam? Not one person has told me that they have yet. Maybe I'll start doing something else with the code cards. All right. Sun and Moon Base. Let's do it. We got, oops, why did I do that? <laughs> we got four from the back here. One, two, three, four. Oh, there's some whitening already on these cards. I always wonder, like, sometimes the quality control. Alolan, Persian, Dartrix, Nest Ball. Got a Dewpider, Alolan Meowth. We got Growlithe. We've got Rog and Rolla, Cosmog. Passimian for our reverse and our non hollow rare is in Incineroar. No luck there on the Sun and Moon base. Let's do two more Vivids and then some Darkness and Blaze. I'm excited for that break point. I really want to pull that, uh, that shiny Gyarados. Now, I know it's like a relatively inexpensive card and it's, you know, it's probably like 13, 15 bucks ungraded. So I could just go buy it, but. It'd be really fun to pull it. I think it's like, I don't know, in my opinion, it's kind of an underrated set. Some of those chase cards are pretty sweet. All right. Leaf energy. Ooh, psychic. I'm not psychic today. All right. Focus up here. Meltang. Kakuna. We got Mumu Cheese. Duskull. Voltor. Weedle. Giving me all the Kanto. Drillbur. Clefairy. Reverses our Riolu and a non hollow B drill. Can a reverse rare show up today for our big drive <laughs> out of town for the cards? I gotta tell you, I had a blast doing that, and I need to figure out, um, I need to look around at some other towns and see where to go next. All right, fire energy, metal energy, okay. Zibstrika, Dusclops, one of my favorites. Pretty cool art. Beauty, Execute. We got Chatut, Clobus, Skiddo, Shuppet. Love the, the minimalistic art on that Shuppet. Trumbeak, Reverse, and what do you got for us? Vivid Voltage. You've got a hollow Diagla, and it looks almost like damaged already with the whitening on there. All right. We're getting through it. Was driving that far out of town today worth it? I think so. That Jirachi GX is pretty cool. Darkness Ablaze. I've opened so much of this on the channel. And I'm going to start next Wednesday a new weekly segment where I fill out a binder. And the first binder I'm going to try to finish, Fire Energy, oh, is Darkness Ablaze. So I'll be opening four packs of each, you know, full full art set each week, just four packs, going through the binder, seeing what I'm missing, seeing what I pulled, and hopefully we can, you know, have a fun, complete the binder journey together. Bunnel B and Clang for our reverse. Can we have a VMAX Charizard from an Orbital box? Oh, 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 I got a little excited there for a second when I saw that VMAX Edge. Butterfree VMAX, that's still really awesome pull. I have not pulled this yet, so or Beetle Box, pretty cool, pretty cool, worth it, I'm gonna say. Look at that, we're gonna sleeve this guy up. This is one I needed for my Darkness of Blaze binder, how about that? But uh, for that video, for the Darkness of Blaze weekly videos, I'll be opening up this entire booster box 
going for haven't you know okay i haven't decided yet if i'm going for a master set or not but going to complete darkness ablaze one way or the other all right last three packs pokey fam can we get this shiny red gyarados full art to appear for us that would be pretty pretty awesome oh oh i want to keep this sealed it looks so cool but let's see what you got let's see what you got breakpoint oh i'm destroying it oh these sleep this blister's like the new blisters in the back they're kind of like broken right here you just pull them apart ah oh, okay let's just rip it let's just rip it did we get okay let's see oh butterfree we go on here for now all right breakpoint xy so it's going to be three from the back and how is the code card in here okay good boom one two three and you know if i don't pull it i might uh i might hit tcg player right now and uh ooh, look at that that's a pretty cool card for just a trainer might hit tcg player and uh price out one of those full out gyaradoses but i'm feeling really lucky today pokefam drowsy what an awesome set almost a five-year-old set for frau for our reverse and non-holo drapion for our rare all right, we'll save Red Gyarados pack for the last. We got Sizor. Let's go. Oh, kills me tearing through these. What is... What's the oldest thing in your collection out there, PokeFam? I don't know. I think... My, oh, 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 no. You might have seen the code there. I think mine would be the... Um, the Neo Destiny Dark Theme deck that I opened... Like, ooh, all night party again. And that's, how cool is that? Um, opening this on New Year's Day. Uh, the Neo Destiny theme deck that I opened a long, long time ago. Okay, Pseudo Wudo, the stick Pokemon. He never said that this would be easy. Okay, look at PokeFam. If you get that reference that I just made about Pseudo Wudo, the whoever comments it first, I'm gonna send you a pack of cards. I don't know what it's gonna be yet, but first person to comment gets a pack. All right, Scorpy. Star you, pretty cool star you. Got Gibble. We've got Gibble again, reverse. And we got non holo Golduck with some sweet artwork. The artists are like the real heroes of the TCG. I swear. Some of the, the detail that goes into just the commons is unbelievable. Last pack. Last pack magic. Shiny Gyarados. Are you in there? Are you in there? I want to try to save this uh, and and I'm ruining it. Let's just rip it. Let's just rip it. All right, Sizor pack. Do you have the luck? If you made it this far, Poke Fan, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. I'm going to be here every Saturday for 2021. All right, and beyond. One, two, three, to the front, boom. Cricketune, Cloyster, pretty awesome Cloyster, Swana, Honage, Shinx, we've got Spritzy, pretty cool looking card, we've got Glammeow, Slowpoke with the ducklets in the back, we've got Dot for our reverse, and for our last pull of the day, was driving two hours out of town worth it? Ah, Re Hollow rare garchomp with some pretty sweet artwork for just a hollow all right quick quick recap today but i'm still so excited we've got our butterfree v max so awesome from darkness ablaze and we've got our jirachi gx from unified minds pokey fam if you enjoyed this video like always leave a like drop a sub if you can i'm here every saturday opening something new and fun but until next saturday be safe have fun and i'll see you in these next videos